nursing rooms, um, which meant that we got to spend a lot of time in the lab. Um, Lots of fun. Yeah, it's always fun. So um, we did basically we did some some audio stuff, and then we did some uh, a lot of interface work, and a little bit on the uh, visuals. So we're just going to start by playing through some of our songs and talking about what you can see in them. So starting out, Risa. sound like it, but those instruments are modeled after um, a clarinet, a saxophone, and a piano. Um, and uh, we think the main reason they don't actually sound like those things is because we haven't implemented um, decays or attacks. Um, but the harmonics are, in fact, what the spectrum should be. Um, so that's how this uh, display is being generated. Um, we have four different instruments, and each of the instruments can be assigned to play um, any, like, sound like any sort of instrument. Um, so right here in this one, um, just one single instrument is acting as all four types of instruments. Um, can we go to the next song? Sure. <laughs> so it turns out I don't actually have any music. <laughs> Max asked me to come up with a song. Um, yeah, but so uh, we can play, the way we did chords is by having, um, we have four different instruments uh, that can up to four instruments that can play at one time, and so we just did chords by having um, multiple instruments configured to be the same instrument type, so like whether it was a piano or a clarinet or whatever, um, playing at once. And one of the other things we did is for our uh, display, we did just um, simple, we, we did you know, composite and then we have a waveform for each of the uh, other instruments that was playing. Okay, next one. And this we just thought sounded nice. Yeah. And we also did the little coder wheel. Then yeah. Within coder wheel? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, so. Okay. Yeah. Um, so the other thing you might notice is he said play it again and I was able to just play it again. So um, we did this by having uh, we use some of the switches down at the bottom and one of the extra buttons to actually set the song because at some point we were debugging and we were like, you know, it would be really useful if we could just say we want to play this song instead of having to scroll through them all the time. So uh, we have four songs you can select. We'll just pick them all with that and press the bottom button and you can pick a song. So we thought that the real fun with this would be doing some interfaces. Um, so let's go to the first song. Um, so we decided that a cool way to interface with everything since now we're in the 21st century would be to just have phones do things. So I can take my phone and then adjust the volume of things um, with a slider on my phone. You put on repeat. And we also did repeats. And uh, can you pass it before? Um, and right now we have four different instruments playing, but um, you can see one of them will disappear. That one's probably not. Oh. This one isn't playing right now. Um, we'll show that later. Um, so we had volume control implemented, but um, we decided that to write a song and have to wait for synthesis um, was a bit too long. So we made it um, such that we could send a song to the FPGA directly from the computer, again, via phone. Um, are we good? Yeah, we're good. So I can press a button here, and then um, we should just be able to play a song that we sent. That's cool. <laughs> Um, and then uh, we can go ahead and send a different song to it. I don't know if you guys have seen Epic Sax Guy on YouTube. If you haven't, you should. It's a video of a guy playing the same, this thing on sax for 24 hours straight. It's pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Which then, is why we made repeat. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> um, then we have another song. So, so, so the board is a wireless board over there? Uh, we have the phone talking to my computer over Wi Fi. Okay, oh, yeah, through the mic. Okay, okay. And, then, uh, and then you have connected your computer. Yeah, the computer is connected to a microprocessor um, with serial, and then we have two different interfaces okay, so from that. Not, I mean, that that's what okay. So we're actually doing, with this though, we're doing two kind of distinct things. One is that the way we're writing the songs, um, the actual songs, we're using SPI, and that's where we thought about using CoreGen, and then ended up brute force synchronizing <laughs> it. Um, and then the other thing we're doing is actually we're doing volumes, um, and you can set the volume for each instrument in addition to being able to set the global volume. 
And so we're doing that by um, outputting to the header here. So it's parallel, parallel interface. Hmm. Um, and our final feature, which we thought was fun, um, was that um, since we can write any song to it and we have a computer connected, um, we can go ahead and write a random song to it. Um, and this is just a randomly generated series of ones and zeros that writes into our um, note format. <laughs> <laughs> So we can create glorious noise, but the other cool thing here is that we actually can like write a random one each time, and then you can like you, know, just, you can write to an array of what you were sending, so then you can look at it if you thought it was really cool. We can actually just generate music on the fly and put it on. So did you did you did you end up generating a really cool song out of the random bits? Um, did you try that? How many trials do you need? <laughs> Or, you know, monkeys. Monkeys. <laughs> monkeys typing. Right? But we could, like, the, the cool thing with that is you can, like, you can just drag the parts that actually <coughs> sound really cool. Where it's like, hey, I wouldn't have actually thought of putting those chords did together. You, did you, did you, did you do that? You know, that, that's cool. Did you try that? Uh, so we implemented this on Wednesday morning. Okay. Um, so well, no. Today is Friday, you know, you go today. Above the deadline was Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there's also one more song that I think we actually played. Oh, yeah. Let me just pull out my phone and program that third song. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool, I guess. Thank you very much.